Welcome everyone to another extreme off-road silly build and today we're dealing with the 1990 Mazda MX-5 Miata. It has a 669 horsepower 7 litre V8 and it weighs 2158 pounds. Now firstly it has a V8 because the original engine couldn't get all that much power so it wasn't really going to be that silly so yeah that's why it has a V8 and the next few videos after this one are going to have a bit of a theme because it's this based off the new car pack that's just been released for free on this game where it's all MX-5s from different generations so yeah that's going to be a bit of a theme and I have no idea how this is going to perform because it's quite light it's quite powerful but never meant for all wheel drive and certainly wasn't meant for going off road so yeah let's see what it can do I like the fact that these are all the uh, three and four MX-5s have a new car pack or convertibles as well so this game's needed some uh, sports cars that are convertibles and this has provided them Yeah, this is going to have a fair bit more weight at the front of the V8 and the all-wheel drive, so I hope it doesn't miss it. So far, it's been somewhat tame with that dent at the back. Yeah, I'm understeering a bit there. Not as bad as some cars. Hard landing and a weird takeoff, but all fine in the end. Whoa, rising! Oh crap! Yeah, that's a bit bad. I was not expecting that. I have to go a bit slower over here. There we go. Less of it. Gonna have to deal with that there. So I don't think I can go over that jump perfectly without being too slow. Yeah, this isn't dealing only with the takeoffs from jumps very well at all. I'm guessing because it has. Well, I don't know really because it's rising by the front, which it shouldn't be doing considering most of the weights are itself so it should be dying from rising. So yeah, I don't know, it's weird the uh, takeoff physics on this game. Makes it a challenge nonetheless. Yeah, it shouldn't be sinking by the back, there's nothing in the back really that's major weight. Especially compared to the front. I even purposely made this V8 and this car naturally aspirate just to keep the weight at the front down. This doesn't seem to have made any difference even without it. Any turbos. But, still a relatively quick time. Still below 2 minutes 30, which I consider a fast time, considering uh, it's not normally cars that are made for doing this course. So, yeah, fairly decent. I mean, it's certainly a quick time for the kind of car it is and the way it was performing on taking off from landings, from jumps even. So yeah, fairly decent, though I would prefer it with a lot less power, probably even with the original engine. So yeah, anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.